So today we will see producer consumer problem. Now we all know that this producer consumer problem is a classical example of multi process synchronization problem. Now in the producer consumer problem there will be two processes producer and consumer which is sharing a common fixed size buffer. That means producer is a process which can produce each item and put in the buffer and the consumer can consume each item from the buffer. So suppose if the buffer size is 5, the 5 items can be produced by the producer and the consumer can consume 5 items. Now what is producer consumer problem? Now suppose if the buffer is full and the producer is trying to produce a data and put into the buffer then problem arises. Similarly if the buffer is empty, there are no items in the buffer the consumer uh, tries to remove a data from the buffer then also the problem arises. That means the producer has to wait if the buffer is full the producer has to wait until the consumer consumes one item. Similarly if buffer is empty the consumer has to wait until the producer produces one item. So in both cases synchronization should be there. Similarly one, one producer is producing one item the consumer processes or any other producer process has to wait. So there should be synchronization between the producer and the consumer. That means mutual exclusion should be established between producer and the consumer processes. Now there are several synchronization tools used for solving producer consumer problem of which semaphore is one effective tool for solving this problem. So next we will see the semaphore synchronization tool. It is a tool used for mutual exclusion and we can give an initial value for the semaphore which is an integer variable and it can be accessed only through two standard atomic operations that is weight and signal. So we all know that the weight operation is used to decrement the value of a semaphore and signal operation is used to increment the value of a semaphore. And there are different types of semaphores, counting semaphores and binary semaphores. Counting semaphores can take any values. We are only considering binary semaphores which can take values 0 and 1. So we will be implementing the producer consumer problem using semaphores. Now for this, uh, for implementing the program, we actually require two things. The first thing is semaphores function should be there. So we are using certain inbuilt functions for semaphores. Second thing is we are using threads for representing producer and consumer processes. So thread we know th that a process can be considered as a single thread of execution. So when a single process is considered as a single thread of execution it can execute or perform one task. So suppose if a process has several threads it can execute multiple tasks. So we can create several threads for a single process. So for this program we actually consider producer and consumer as threads that is instead of processes single process has number of threads so for each producer and consumer process we are considering a thread or we are creating a thread so second thing we require is we require functions for thread creation okay so we will be using uh, inbuilt functions for threads also so next we will see what are the functions used for semaphores the first thing is we need to initialize the semaphore so for that we use the function sem underscore init. All the semaphore functions are defined in header file semaphore.h and the syntax of this function is sem underscore init int sem underscore init and the arguments are sem underscore t star sem. Sem underscore t is a default semaphore type and the sem is the name of the semaphore of type sem underscore t which is to be initialized. Second argument is in p shared. Third argument is unsigned in value. So whatever value we need to initialize to the semaphore that is given as the third argument value. That is the initial value for the semaphore. And we are uh, here creating threads. So if the semaphore is shared between threads of a process that is the case here. The p shared value will be zero and it will be a non-zero value if the semaphore is shared between processes. So since in this program we are creating threads the semaphore is shared between threads of the process so that value will be always zero. Now the next function is wait operation. Now this wait operation is actually defined in the header file semaphore.h. 
now here there are so, uh, there is only one argument that is m underscore t star m and this is the uh, semaphore to be on which the weight operation need to be performed so already it is defined as m underscore t type so that is given in inside as a argument so this will be decrementing the semaphore value pointed by sem and we know that if it is greater than zero only the decrement operation can proceed and the function can return immediately now if the value equal to zero means the sem underscore weight call will be blocked until either it becomes possible to perform the decrement that means whenever the semaphore value is incremented by signal operation only the value becomes zero so if it is a negative value then this call has to wait until the value becomes zero now next is signal operation for signal operation we are using sem underscore post function so that is also defined in header file semaphore dot h it is also having a, the same single argument that is the semaphore which is uh, on which uh, the signal operation is to be performed so sem underscore t star sem so this will be incrementing the semaphore pointed by the sem and if the value is greater than zero means one process which is already blocked in sem underscore weight will be waken up that means the semaphore value of a process if it is negative then that will be incremented by the signal operation now next is uh, the function for threads so we have seen three functions for semaphore that is for initializing the semaphore for uh, performing weight operation and signal operations next is we are we have we need to create the thread so there is one function to create the thread that is known as pthread underscore create it is defined in header file pthread dot h so all the thread functions are defined in the header file pthread dot h now the arguments are p thread underscore create p thread underscore t star thread so with the thread which is to be created is of default type p thread underscore t then constant p thread underscore attribute underscore t star attribute the second argument is actually the attributes of the thread so usually that will be set to null we were not giving any attribute so in the program we will be setting as capital null value as a second argument then the third argument is the routine which is invoked as part of the new thread created that means that is of the type void star and void star star underscore routine star void star so this should be given as the same type and whatever argument we are passing to the start underscore routine that is given as the fourth argument void star arg so it starts a new thread in the calling process so the new thread starts execution by invoking this routine and the routine will be having the argument this arg is passed as a sole argument of the start underscore routine so it should be noted that it is of star type so in the program also we have to give like that now there is one more function for threads that is p thread underscore join this is actually used for uh, waiting for the thread that means p thread underscore join has two arguments p thread underscore t that is a thread which is to be joined thread comma void star return val so this second argument also it is a return value so here the we are not returning any value so by default it will be null so n u l l null okay so this function will be waiting for the thread specified by the thread to terminate that is whatever thread we are giving here uh, until it terminates the function will be waiting if it is already terminated then this function can return immediately so this is a thread to be uh, the thread for which the function has to wait that is of type ether underscore t and the second argument I already told it is set as null in the program so next we will see how can we implement the program ok so in the program we are actually using three semaphores one is mutex the second one is empty and third one is full the mutex is actually used for mutual exclusion and the initial value will be one and the empty semaphore is used to indicate the empty slots and the full will be used to indicate the full slot so if we are giving five slots for the buffer then the full initial value will be five and initially all the slots are empty nothing has been produced so empty will be set to zero and the mutex will be of one so all these are of type i told or it is a default type sem underscore t that is defined here 
now there are header files semaphore.h and pitra underscore h for threads and semaphore and this is used for sleep operation time.h so first we need to define the header files and we are for buffer array we are using we are de declaring as integer buffer of 5 and get is used to get an item variable used for getting an item which is used in the producer function and item is set to 0 that is whenever we are producing each item that will be incremented and the g item is actually just to indicate the uh, item which is consumed and put is also put is another variable used by the producer while it is producing and that will be set to zero and there are two arrays for representing producer and consumer that is producer of 20 and consumer of 20 so get is actually used for consumer and put is actually used by the producer okay a g item is used to represent the item now we will first see the main program now in the main program we will be creating threads corresponding to uh, producer and consumer so for representing producer we will be using the a of 10 array that is for representing the threads for producer and b of 10 is for consumer process threads for consumer process and uh, we have already uh, declared mutex full and uh, empty as sem underscore t now we need to initialize the values for initializing the values we will be using the function sem underscore init and mutex ampersand since it is a pointer variable that is address we have to give ampersand mutex and all these second arguments for sem underscore init will be zero to indicate that a semaphore is being shared between threads and we can see the last argument is the initial value so mutex is initialized to one full is initialized to zero and empty is initialized to five now we need to enter the number of producer and consumer process first one is producer i have not written here you can modify this this is the producer processes and read that p consumer is c okay now for each producer processes you need to create the thread so j is equal to zero j less than p and j plus plus so which producer we are taking that is given to producer of j this is the array corresponding to producer process so we will be passing that argument to the producer routine so next we create the thread so we know that the first one is the thread type which is a pre thread underscore t already we have defined here so ampersand a of j second argument is the attribute that is default given as null third is the routine so here the routine name is producer on behalf of the producer process and the last argument is the argument which is passed to the producer routine so here whenever this thread is created on behalf of this thread this function will be invoked so we need to see this function so this is a function corresponding to the producer so we can see this producer will be taking the argument of type a star arg this arg will be getting the value which is passed here that is produ produ pro, pro of j that value means for first producer it will be one that value will be taken by the producer here okay and it is returning also void star type so we need to define the program um, void star producer void star arg okay now what is done inside the producer function we know that whenever we are producing an item we can actually decrement the empty slot so first we will be decrementing the empty slots and for performing mutual exclusion we need to decrement the mutex so before performing the operation we decrement the mutex so that no other processes can uh, uh, access a shared buffer okay now we will be putting the item as put mode 5 that means after 0 to uh, 5 items uh, or 0 to 4 items after that again it should uh, put the items starting from slot number 0 so we are taking the mode operation so buffer of position is put mode 5 the put we know initial value will be 0 the first item will be put to 0 and we will be incrementing the item now when just for printing the item the producer uh, first uh, producer produces this item buffered this so here this producer num number we can actually convert it to the integer value that since arg is a pointer variable so in order to get the value we can represent like the star in star arg comma second uh, this is producer switch item that is given by buffer of put mod 5 and third is buffered mode d that is it is buffered of position that is put mode 5 the same thing and the last one is the item 
okay which item it is producing that is uh, the position can actually come from 0 to 4 but the item can actually increment it from 0 to any number okay then the put is incremented now after the execution that is after producing one process the mutex is incremented by using sem underscore post so that any other process can access a shared buffer then full is also incremented to increment the uh, full slots of the buffer and the sleep is operation is actually used to give a delay between the producer and the consumer process and this is an infinite loop which is executed now similarly we have consumer loop for k equal to 0 k less than c c is the number of consumers and uh, taking each consumer we will be creating a thread so b is the b of k is the uh, array of for consumer of type p3 underscore t second argument will be null and third is a routine which is called on behalf of the thread created for the consumer and the last one is the argument which is passed to the consumer routine so here also the consumer routine will be called and similar to the producer the consumer will be taking the argument what is passed in the thread that is arg fourth argument and this is also of type void star so in the case of consumer you need to decrement the full slot because whenever you are uh, whenever the consumer is consuming each item the number of full slots will be decreased so first you decrement the full slot here also in order for mutual exclusion we need to decrement the mutex value so only whenever the mutex value is 1 the consumer can execute and become 0 now here we, we are taking an item from the buffer so to get the item from the buffer the position will be get mod 5 that is zero, get value 0 and that is taken to g item and we can print the item similar to the producer and we increment the get now after uh, as consuming each item uh, the mutex can be incremented so that the any other process which is waiting can access a shared buffer and also we will be incrementing the empty slots because the empty slots is actually incremented since one more item is consumed and here also to get a delay between uh, producer and consumer process we are giving sleep okay so here after execution it will become but in order for uh, waiting for the pro each process or each thread to terminate we need to join each of these threads so we are for each producer that is for j is equal to 0 to p producers we are using p3 underscore join and the first argument will be a of j that is the uh, thread uh, corresponding to the producer and the second argument return value is taken as uh, given as null similarly for consumers also the same join operation is continued in similar way this execution continues and the threads can be executed in any order that is we can uh, say that the uh, thread first producer will be executed first not we can't say the order so in any order the threads can be executed now when we s uh, in order to run the output uh, while compiling the program we need to give gcc program name dot c along with that we need to give this library it is minus lp thread since we are using thread functions so Suppose if the producer process is 3 and consumer processes is 3, are 3, now uh, it can be executed in one this order. So the output will be like this. Suppose the producer 2 is coming first, the producer 2 will be producing 0 item and this is in buffer 0 and we are just representing 1. So any item can actually come in the item number you, here you can see it can actually uh, go beyond 5. Okay, but the buffer position is also only from 0 to 4 since only 5 slots are there ok so I hope you understood and you have to uh, uh, take the man page and uh, type all these functions so in order to know in detail about each function of semaphore and threads you can uh, type in the man page and examine so actually all the values all the arguments and all the function explanations are given in the man page so study that for Viva and come.